Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and today I'm back with another Dolls Kill haul. Last time I showed you guys Dolls Kill, I was doing a bikini haul. Today we have a bikini and some clothes to show you guys. And if you're interested in more Dolls Kill content, be sure to subscribe to me because we're also going to be doing a Halloween costume haul together basically in the next month, which I am so excited about. So definitely stay tuned for that. But let's just get right into it. In today's video, I've got a ton of cute Dolls Kill clothing to show you guys and I cannot wait. So. Here we go. I feel like in every Dolls Kill haul I do, there's like a funny slash weird surprise. Like last time with the bikinis, I opened one of the bikinis up and it was a G-string and I just didn't realize that when I ordered it and it was like, Woo, too much to show the camera and then in today's video I ordered this top that says subscribe I think it's just so cute and I thought like you know subscribe YouTube I didn't really put any more thought into it but when I opened it up I also had a thong that said subscribe so obviously I can't show you guys that on but it's kind of like maybe rethink what this related to I'm thinking that maybe like this subscribe stuff on dolls kill is subscribing to sex work you know type stuff which I'm totally fine with but it's not what immediately came to my head like I saw the word subscribe and I thought ooh subscribe to my YouTube channel like I can wear this shirt when I'm doing YouTube videos which I am gonna wear today but long story short this was a surprise of this video we've got a subscribe thong which I mean I'm sure I'll have a chance to wear eventually, but not in this video. There are definitely some hits and some misses in this haul, and sometimes there's a hit and a miss all wrapped up in one set. For example, they sent me this hot pink set, which has like a ribbed knit top, kind of like a bright color, but still cute, and then shorts that go with. They're kind of like a high-waisted short top set thing. Long story short, the top is really cute and really comfortable. It's a bright color, so I'm not sure exactly how I'd wear it, but I don't think the shorts are flattering at all. And as a set, it's kind of weird. It's a lot of hot pink, so I'm not really sure how to feel about it. But it fits really well, and it's a really soft, comfy rib knit material. You guys know how much I love rib knit stuff. So I'm definitely going to hang on to at least the top part of the set. But yeah, it's very, very cute. Crazy, but I think it might be the one for me. I guess it's just the consequence of being stuck in the next piece I love and is so flattering. It's this one piece like unitard tank top shorts rib knit again and it's like a light brown color. I haven't worked out exactly how to style it but I'm kind of thinking with a jean jacket just like over top because then you just like look like you have a tank top on and shorts but I don't know what it is about it. It just like sucks you right in and it's so flattering. You guys will definitely see in the try on but it's just like a really cute piece. Again, not 100% sure how to wear it yet. I need to do a bit of research, but maybe like with like a fanny pack too. I don't know, I can see it in my head and it looks good with chunky sneaks. So I'm pretty excited about this. Again, everything that's tall is a size small, I think. I find Dolls Kill a little bit frustrating because within their website, they have a lot of different brands they're selling. So sometimes a small fits best, sometimes a medium fits best. It's all kind of all over the place, which can be a little bit difficult, but it all ends up being okay in the end. You guys are going to kill me for this next thing, but you had to know that back to school content was coming eventually. I got this sweater vest, which is so pretty. Look at the print on that. It's just super flattering colors and it is super soft. I think it would look really cute with jeans and a white long sleeve blouse underneath or even worn without anything. I'm a big fan of sweater vests without anything underneath. I think that they're really cute. And where I'm gonna be going to online school again, I just like to like roll up, look so put together in front of my webcam for my profs to see. And then, you know, like roll away with my like sweatpants on. So, you know, kind of sweater vest on top, sweatpants on the bottom, super cute. But little do they know, you just got out of bed. So in my mind, I whisper chow and I take myself to Tuscany, Italy. Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah. Warm wind blowing and birds are singing. They actually did send me one other sweater vest and it's this one with the purple and yellow. I don't like the coloring as much as the brown one, but what I like with this is it can kind of bridge the gap between summer and fall. It's so like the first few weeks of September in school still feel like summertime. So I still like to wear bright colors and fun prints. Whereas by the end of September and then heading into basically the rest of the school year for me, it's going to be winter, which is when something that's like more brown makes more sense as far as like color tones go. So this is has me excited for the first couple weeks of school. Read every book, then I'll learn to cook from videos and line. Oh, yeah, we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long. We don't another one of these sets where one piece aka this tank top worked out really well it's just super plain but it has like the lace along the blouse which i think is really cute 
but the bottoms did not work out so they look really wrinkly right now i'll try to flatten them out a bit for the try on but they are so small once it's on it's so short it's like inappropriate to wear out of the house short and i don't even think it's because of me i think the skirt was just made really short so yeah this skirt doesn't work on me i'll probably give it away to somebody but yeah not my favorite piece <laughs> So the next piece is another bikini from Dolls Kill. It's actually a one piece, but it might as well be a bikini because it does not cover a lot anywhere. When I show this in the try on, it's gonna have to be from the front only because the back is skim pee. What this bathing suit screams to me is wear it on vacation, like in Mexico, in the Bahamas, down south somewhere. It does not look to me like the kind of bikini that you're gonna wanna wear at home at the beach like this is a lot to show a neighbor not a lot to show some random person down south it's kind of how i feel about a lot of the more skimpy bikinis i show you guys in those videos i think it's really pretty it's gonna take a lot of maintenance down there to wear but it needs to be worn in a very specific time which is not going to be around family grandparents neighbors etc anyway it's really cute but it's definitely a very very revealing bathing suit which is kind of the moral of the story with all of dolls kill <laughs> So that's gonna bring us around to the last thing in this haul, which is this black and white skirt that I'm in love with. It's definitely a little bit short. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind in the future when ordering skirts from Dolls Kill, but it is so nice. I will say this is the only thing in this haul I did order in a size medium. I think I looked at the size chart and determined that the current mood brand that this skirt comes from, anything bottoms wise from them, I'm gonna need a medium in. But it's just like a fake leather feel it's really cute i think it would pair really well with like a plain black bodysuit it's just like very retro very in right now very like going downtown with the girls i think it's adorable i can't wait to wear it and honestly it feels like really good quality sweater you pair with corduroy slacks wait i take that back you might be more daring but anyway, you guys, that's everything I have to show you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like Dolls Kill content, be sure to subscribe because I do have more Dolls Kills videos coming up soon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Juliana underscore Murphy. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment down below other videos you want to see between now and Halloween. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so now. I know my shirt has been reminding you guys all video, but sometimes I know how you guys can get confused. But anyway, you guys, have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Then suddenly call me crazy But I think you might be the one for me Am I being romantic?